Hey, what's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to make this simple and inexpensive planter box that mounts to the railing on your porch. So we're gonna use this wood that we got from Home Depot. It was like six, seven dollars a board. Uh, I'm not really from know what it's called, but it does have this texture on it. I'm not really familiar with this, but I thought it was cool. So we're gonna use it with I think we're going to use it with the texture side out, maybe. Maybe it looks cool, but we're going to cut this down to size. We're going to have a front and a back and two side pieces. We're going to cut that first and then assemble it. all this together with the tight bond 3 and brad nails i know you're probably wanting to see the pocket hole clip again but uh we're not going to use pocket holes for that so we're just going to stand this up and after doing a test i think i like the stain better on this than this because this is really really rough and cut the middle piece. There is the box. I think I am going to drill some more holes through this. Uh, very small holes for drainage because we are going to probably put a very thin layer of pea gravel before the dirt that way it just has like a drainage so all the water just didn't sit with the wet soil on the bottom now that um, the box is done the holes are in the bottom to drain blah 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 I think what we're gonna do is because we bought two boards at like seven dollars a piece is I'm gonna rip them down into like a, I don't know the sizes, but rip one down into a larger and rip it down into a smaller and put the larger on the top and the smaller on the bottom and trim the front and the sides. I don't think I'm gonna trim the back. Okay, so there is the top. Let's do the same thing real quick with the bottom. I think what I'm gonna do is I might cut like a little strip and put one here and put one here and there just to kind of pretty it up, I guess. That makes it look like a whole lot cleaner. Let's see what the front looks like. From the front, gives a little different look. So let's do the same thing we did on this side to this side. And there's the planter. I think we gotta stain it. Um, and we're just gonna stain the outside and maybe just the top edge, but none of the inside. Probably need to ask my wife what color she wants it stained first. And then we gotta come up with the hanging mechanism in the back. So my wife, found a color online that she wanted this, but I do not have that. So I think we're gonna burn it first. So there it is. I think it kind of looks cool like that, but we'll stain it and see what it looks like. So I was gonna use these little D bolts or U bolts or whatever you call them to attach it. They were gonna drill in the back and they were gonna wrap around these railings and then cinch it tight, that's where it stayed. 
I messed up and the ones I bought are not long enough. So instead we just screwed it into the back. So. Now we're talking. So thanks for watching this video everybody it's pretty simple the build actually was probably around ten dollars worth of wood not including if you had to buy soil and the plants so um thanks for watching if y'all have it already please think about subscribing also click that bell notification so you can keep up with all the videos that i'm posting right now and hit that thumbs up button and share this if you know anyone else that has a green thumb and wants to make something like this right now um this is just starting to finally warm up so see y'all later